Hey everybody, welcome back to Nuclear Throne. So today we get back on the hobby horse and we say we will get Ultra Mutant. It's gonna happen. It has to happen. I can't just sit and not make it happen. So we're back in. It's been it's been a couple of months probably. Um the most consistent YouTuber of all time. Anyway, we're gonna play some Nuclear Throne and we're gonna win some runs. We're gonna I, I, I say when we're gonna get to loop two, which is a win in my book, and we're gonna do it with who are we going to do it with? Who needs a bit of loving? Because I think we're still shy of a lot of crowns. Very many crowns missing. Do you even have the YVB skin? Get a golden gun for every character. Well, who doesn't have a golden gun? Fish does not. Let's play as fish. Why not? Let's play as fish and get some more crowns. So we need to get life, blood, and curses. That's the three crowns we have. That's not very good, Tom. You need to up your game. Get in the thick of it. Anyway, we're going to start off. I've not played for some time. I'm very fast. I've been playing Heroes of Hammer Watch on stream, and it's nice to have a reasonable rate of movement. Because as fun as the game is, Heroes of Hammer Watch, those boys are slow. But Fish is a fast boy right now. He feels fast to me. Um, yeah, I don't want to leave yet. don't want to leave yet. I want to just make sure I've got everything. Okay. Speedrun strats then. Let's go fast. Let's go fast. Get some levels up. Get some strong spirits, some bloodlusts, some uh, trigger fingerses. You know, all of this stuff we want to see. And I'll take a wrench, so we can do some grenade golf. Uh, maybe a bad idea. But it's our idea, and that's what matters. Burst from our own brains is the galactic brains. So, Nuclear Throne, I was thinking on uh, how to stave off the game fe feeling stale. Because, uh, you know, I've played the game... <laughs> A lot. I play the game a lot. And sometimes I, I just lose interest in doing runs. Like, it'll be a case of, I'll do a run, and then I'll die before I get to a loop. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to play this game anymore. Um, which is cowardice more than anything else. You know, you never never surrender. Never quit. I'm taking the revolver back. I think it's better for us to have a bullet weapon and not a, a grenade launcher. Who knows? What's the first mutation, though? It's a scarier face. Or it could be a long arms, though. Uh, we'll do long arms, because we have the wrench already. You know, making use of what we got. Not that the wrench is a great weapon or anything, but the long arms kind of sets us in good stead for picking up something spicy. Yeah, a couple of levels in, you know, we could maybe get a laser sword. Energy sword, rather. Sorry, I made a mistake. I mistitled my sword. How dare you, Mr. Bandit. Come at me, brother. Brother, I've been playing too much Far Cry 5, which is a good game, by the way, and I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. If you're like me and you enjoy throwing explosives at people from moving vehicles and then jumping off a bridge and wingsuiting as it explodes, then yes, you'll have a lot of fun. It's good fun. It's good old, good old fashioned, solid fun, K Kona brothers. You know, you feel me? It's good. K Kona, by the way, if you're only on YouTube, K Kona is a. Uh, it's an emote on Twitch that looks like how you imagine every American man to look, which might be offensive to some people, but yeah, it's just the way it is in life. It's just the way it is. So do we want bolt marrow, boiling veins, the booty, the throne uh, booty, the water boost? I think we take the bolt marrow. Uh, boiling veins, actually. Let's play for the long game. Let's play for the loop three. And if you're playing for loop three, the boiling veins is good because those motherfuckers drop a lot of grenades. The freaks. Not my name for them, that's just what their name is, you know? They're free- maybe they're enjoyable. If you get them, like, after work. You know, like, you know, when they're at work, they're all fucking angry and shit, IDPD, getting phoned in to stop the big scary mutant. But maybe after work, they're, like, down the pub, like, How are you doing, John? It's all right, nice to see you. You know, just nice. Uh, I don't know why they sound like an old Scottish lady, but... I don't know why I sometimes sound like an old Scottish lady, but it's just the way it is. That's the way life is sometimes. Level four, in the door. Now we take the bolt marrow. The, the downside to this, of course, is the fact that we now have heavy heart incoming. But I'm okay with that. Oh no. No crows on my establishment, please. You're all barbed. You're all barbed. Who do you think fish is the most likely to own a bar in all of nuclear throne lore? Do it, pussy, you won't. He didn't, actually, because I killed him before he got to, so... Life is good for me, not so much for him. One bullet and we die. So we have to be especially careful. 
He's the last man. Ah, don't do it, you dick. What's the weapon, though? That's what I want to know. Is it a crossbow? Is it an auto crossbow? It's a lightning pistol. Is that better for us? I mean, it is when we're shooting forward. When we're shooting behind ourselves, it's nonsense of the highest order. Would it kill you to drop a health back game? Just one for your old Uncle Tam. You know, he's, he's, he's trying to, he's trying here. Trying to make the big plays happen and you're just cock blocking me left, right and centre. There he is. There's the man. So we got the health back. So it means one shot and it's not quite on the menu. It still could be the whole. I'll take a sledge. Kobe. I don't know why that's a Kobe. Kobe is usually when you throw something. But for me now, Kobe has become ubiquitous for I'm going to do something silly. Which is fine, I guess. A heavy heart? I think we'll pass. I think we'll do patience. We don't have the health back generation for the, the second stomach to be useful. This is going to be a shit show. Oh my god. Oh! Call it all off. Dirty, dirty big dog. We need trigger fingers. Like, if we get trigger fingers now, we're going to be so set. He dead. We have boiling veins, so it didn't even matter. Oh! 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 I see. Now that's a weapon, that is. Uh, none of these, though. Eh? Um, the one that speaks to me the most. Eagle eyes? Is that dumb? It has to be, surely. Let's take it. Why not? We never get love to eagle eyes for good reason, because, you know. Who needs accuracy when you have many bullets? But, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe that'll let us pick a super crossbow and it won't be scary or a seeker shotgun if we get the trigger fingers. I don't, I, this is nice, though, that we get the all crossbow, which is important. That's like the primo pick. Everything else is just periphery. Ammo. Because the big dog auto crossbow, it's the mythical big dog auto crossbow. You long for it, you want it all your life, and then it's here, in your face, saying hello. But yeah, on the YouTube front, it's, uh, it's partly me being lazy more than anything else. But it's also just losing motivation. Like, how do you stay motivated? When you die all the time in this game, is what I'm saying. Like, there's never a day when you don't die playing your clear throne. Scary your face seems like it's good. Be hard pressed to pick a better mutation as much as I like the laser brain. All we need now is bloodlust and strong spirit. But yeah, in a game where you die 100% of the time, 99% of the time, because you can win the game by sitting on the throne and I don't think you die, or by killing the captain. Uh, you die on the throne, but not the captain, right? Because the throne just explodes. But killing the captain, that's the way. Don't make me choose. Well, I think we have to. I think this is the right choice. As much as I want trigger fingers. Well, we have an auto crossbow. We might just merge into auto crossbow energy sword, no trigger fingers. Or ultra shovel, which needs no trigger fingers. Definitely not the energy hammer. Now that I can tell you, it's not what we need. Fun weapon. Don't get me wrong, but I'm here to play the big, the big long game, the good game. Fight the good fight. Oh yeah, I forgot I should be trying to get a crown here. Can I get a few more of these in here, please? Come on now. Oh, fucking. I ain't leaving without my ads. So we're not getting a crown. Maybe a loop crown? Of some kind? See, the idea was, the play was, we'll try and get a crown so we can start getting more crowns because we want to get Ultra Mutant, but at the same time, I'm just having fun playing the game. Now that I think about it. Maybe a mid-season hiatus isn't such a bad thing after all. Because I was concerned if I started the video, I'd be like, you know, bored immediately, but I feel, I feel good, I feel like I'm playing well. Playing reasonably well. You can't be sad with an auto crossbow. Tell you what you can be sad at. My adult sister is going to Thailand with her boyfriend for a holiday. And they're going to go to all the things. They're going to go to like the elephant sanctuaries to help out for the day and all the good stuff. Me 
many dads focused on the face. Like, it's Thailand, you're gonna get robbed, you're gonna get, this is gonna happen, you're gonna die, you're gonna be killed by terrorists. I'm like, Dad. The chance of that happening is so, it's so very small, but yeah, he's fixated on it. He's now convinced that my sister will die. Um, which is not a healthy way to be all the time. And I try and help him out, but he just, the older he gets, the more odd he gets, you know? So I'm like, I wish you a happy holiday when you go and my dad's like, don't die. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult situation. Do we keep the sledgehammer? Probably good for the palace, you know, with those dogs. Then again, the swing speed is quite lovely. Good. This is nice. Eagle Eyes is looking a bit suspect, not gonna lie. But at the same time, everything else is looking good, so we're living the dream. Right, it's like for you have to experience the world. You can't just go about thinking everyone's gonna kill you. That doesn't serve you very well in life. Like, if she was going to somewhere, like, really war torn and fucked up, I'd be like, yes, perhaps. Got him. But nah. Thailand. A popular tourist destination. <laughs> but I don't really know what's changed uh, for the YouTube folks. Um, not really be much going on, you know. I turned 31 on, on Saturday. I have a wedding to go to on, on Friday. So I'm going to be at a friend's wedding on Friday and then Saturday. It's my birthday. Feels grown up, man. I... A little apprehensive about going to a wedding, you know. As a single man in his 30s. The psychological ramifications of going to a wedding that's not yours. You know, it could be it could be the end of me. Uh, the, the alternative is I go have a good time and everything's fine, which is probably what's going to happen. But you know, you always have the inkling. The suspicion. That a fancy social gathering where people are in love and shit. So oh, far, no time for it, man. <laughs> no time for it. One well, I'm gonna walk in, gonna kick the door in as I go in, like it's a fucking saloon in the wild, wild west. I'm gonna point at the first old lady I see and I say, "You love, we're having a dance." Cause that's what you do at weddings, isn't it? You know. Now, the concern for me is I don't drink at the moment, so I'm going to be at a wedding with no alcohol in me and everyone else is going to be shit-faced. And I'm not talking like they'll be a little bit drunk and annoying, I mean, they will be, like, on the floor, out there gored, just pissed drunk. Which, uh, when you're sober, it's not really fun to see people like that. To have someone ask you the same question ten times within thirty seconds and you'll be like, I've told you already! I don't want to invest in your dumb idea. Of whatever it is. So you work on the internet. Do you want to start a website? Like, oh fuck off! I make videos very poorly, might I add. I mean, I made seven hundred nuclear throne, eight hundred nuclear throne videos. What? How am I going to make a website for anyone? You know. But that's what I get. People, <laughs> you work on the internet. Can you make me a website? Oh sure, I give me your fucking details and I'll make you a website. Fucking angel fire, grade stuff. Um. I think we want the last wish. Because we then get another chance at a mutation, which could be trigger fingers or something. Oh, the guitar! Making mu- I've been making music. Been playing a lot of guitar, actually. I've, I've had a rare... bit of musical motivation. Not so much in the making videos, which I'm sorry for. Like, I should be more regular with the videos. I really should. But with the music making, I've been getting in big. Been making some nice angsty 90s riffs. <laughs> My forte in life. Do we crown of blood this? I think we do a crown of blood here. I don't want to do nothing but crown of blood. Could really be using a weapon, uh, ammo mutation. Alright. Who's first? You fella? Good. I think there's another one kicking about. Hiding. Wait, no? We will do Crown of Blood only because I forget what it's like. And I wish to experience it. Gun warrant or confiscate? Confiscate seems like a good idea. 
because of the ammo woes, and then we can certainly think about taking uh, Trigger Fingers if it comes up, or, uh, you know, some other really good utility mutation, maybe Pluto. Now, I have an auto crossbow and a guitar. I shouldn't die ever, but the game works in mysterious ways, you know? Oh, fuck it, just goodbye. Game works in mysterious ways, you know, things can go pear-shaped very, very quickly, especially with only 8 health. Maybe we'll take Rhino Skin. But we're absolutely 100% locking the Crown of Blood, because I want to see all the- throw every enemy at me, let's see it. As many as you've got, game. I haven't killed thousands of things for a while. You know, while Far Cry 5 is fun, I don't get to kill, like, uh, 10,000 things over the course of a game. Maybe I do. I don't know. Tell you what, though, the fishing in Far Cry 5 is a lot of fun, and I recommend it. It's funny, because the last couple of Far Cry... Oh, no. Oh, no, bro, what the fuck? That's just strictly un unfavorable. Not favorable build. At least he's dead now, eh? Cheated. Oh no. Dudes! Please! Please, bro! We're fine. Totally fine. No mimics, please. Do we ever change weapon? I don't know if we do. But we certainly want to- oh yeah, there he is. I want to get back to full health for the- Last wish, Brox. A lot of boys in here. Too many, some might say. No, it's bad. It's all bad. It's not bad. Because we got the health chesty. Fuck you, bro. What are you doing? You just fires too many things. All right, back to strong spirit. We're okay. We're like going in big. Of course we are. That's what we do. It's never a dull day when you're going in big. Don't dare do that to me, you fuck. The biggest, the boldest. The most handsome fish. Get out of my video game, sir. <laughs> be be gone. He's playing the long con, isn't he? Nah, I just had uh, one too many brains for him. He was playing checkers, I was playing 8D chess. He had nothing. That's bad, I missed the ammo. It's been a job been enjoying chess. Been playing chess with my pal on the phone. You know, you get 24 hours to make a move. Turns out I'm the master of start with the praying elephant start. The pray you know what, they've got all these, like, myriad of different moves you can start with. They're all called, like, the fucking, you know, doing the koala, the... Dank elephant, uh, the your mum in a nightgown, you know, all these moves, and you're like, fucking, it's, it's, it's entertaining. It's interesting. You know, working out the the correct moves at the right time. Like a chess bro. Like a grandmaster of chess. That's really not nice. Oh! It's fine. <laughs> Don't touch ball mum. Big advice. Health advice from Big Tam, don't touch Bomb or you'll get the you'll get the plague. You'll catch the Lurgy from her. Oh no. Why is nothing dying? I remember now, this game's very stressful, eh? <laughs> Much stress. Doesn't help that I spray all my ammo away like a lunatic, but that's how I've played the game since day one. And I ain't changing for anyone. Boom. Uh, that is very tempting, but we're not going to take it. So just remind me to go into the... the frozen city flower. Into the jungle. I'm getting fucked on, bro! It's very sore. No fucking please, you bastards. Oh no! 
This is hell on earth. Chat. Chat. YouTube comment session. Oh, just come on and fight me like I'm on, you fuckers. Well, that's difficult for me because he's been unleashed. His raw power has been. Not going down without a fight. That's going to be very bad for me. Don't blow that up yet. Where is he? Where is he? Health. Health is good. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hi. No! Yes! I suppose. Over a thousand kills. Oh, yes. The problems that we face are uh, mostly big and dog-esque. We have a large dog who ain't willing to play by the rules. We're still alive. Okay, we've got ammo though and we've got strong spirit, so what's the worst that could happen? No, oh, I, I have ant spawns in my ass. That's probably the worst there. If I just thin out the herd, so to speak, then we should be living the dream. Is Bloodlust even doing anything? Have you seen Bloodlust brought once? Because I ain't YouTube comment session. I think people are having a laugh at our expense. There's some creative accounting going on with the Bloodlusts here. Is my Bloodlust being hosted in an account in the Cayman Islands? I need that Bloodlust tax. But we're fine. We prevail. We live on. Justly. Proudly. I think that the only really... Uh, the wrong note, the only... The only flat note here and on is most certainly the Eagle Eyes, which is functionally doing nothing right now. I hear a man who shields himself. What a coward. Fuck everything about you. Oh no! Fuck everything about you, you fucking dirty bastards. The fuck is the fuzz. Can't wait till he spawns behind me and shoots me in the back of the head with a automatic plasma rifle. Right, there he is. That's that's the big one. We're gonna get in deep. Because I feel like it's our best chance of survival just to be in and about it. Oh no, I'm gonna get fucked on, bro. It's fine. We still have strong spirit though, so even if he does come in for a, a cuddle, we're well prepared. Easy. Easy now, Tom. Easy. You've got this. You've played it before. You've seen it before. You've done it before. You know exactly where you stand. I'm gonna get balls deep in the jungle. Would I be promised fun and games? <laughs> uh, well. Don't go too hard in the jungle when you have no health, because that's not a good idea, but anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff, and of course, I'll see you tomorrow.